Hey, first graders, we have reached the end of chapter two. And so we are now going to test and see how well you remember all the things that we talked about. So for math today, you are going to need um, the chapter two review slash test out of your math folder, as well as a pencil and a crayon. Um, just a reminder that we are going to mark our work we're going to do our problems independently, then we'll go back and check it and mark it with a star if it's something we showed we have achieved um, and that we're able to do independently, and mark it with a star if it's something that we are still working on. And is it okay to still be working on things? Yes, but it's also very important that you are letting yourself and your brain make that connection that it is something you need to work on. And so by marking it with a star, we're able to see that um, and then fix it with our CREN to show what our thinking was before and what our thinking is now so that we can continue to make more connections in our brain and continue to grow. So um, try your best as we go through this together and make sure that you let your teacher see how you did at the end. Are you ready? Hey, this is what the, I'm gonna move myself smaller here. Um, this is what the page looks like that we're starting with, and let's take it um, to our place where we can write on it. Okay, so here we go. Chapter 2, review slash test. Make sure you do all of the parts of the problem, so listen to all the instructions and do your best. Number 1. Circle the part you are taking from the group, then cross it out. Write how many there are now. The story is five zebras, three zebras walk away. Blank zebras now. So we have five zebras, three zebras walk away. Blank zebras now. Remember to circle the part you're taking from the group and cross it out and write how many there are now. Number two, circle the part you take away from the group, then cross it out. Write the difference. I'm going to show you these pictures are close enough together. There are actually two different pictures here. So number two is for this first picture, okay? Um, you don't need to draw that line or that arrow. That's just to help you be able to see the separation. So in number two, make sure we circle the part you take away from the group, then cross it out and write the difference. Six, there are six cats. Five cats run away. Six minus five equals blank. There are six cats. Five cats run away. Six minus five equals blank. Number three, there are four dogs. One dog runs away. Four minus one equals blank. Remember to circle the part you take away from the group and cross it out, then write the difference. There are four dogs. One dog runs away. Four minus one equals blank. Number four, we have three subtraction sentences. We are going to say yes, it's true if they did it right, or no, it's not true if they did it wrong. So look at the first one. Five minus five equals zero. Come over here, you don't need to draw this arrow, but come over here and either pick yes and fill in the bubble or no and fill in the bubble, if that is true. Five minus five equals zero. Okay, the next one, two minus two equals two. Fill in your bubble. Yes, it's true, or no, it's not. Two minus two equals two.
Okay, and the third one is four minus zero equals four. Yes, it's true, or no, it's not. Four minus zero equals four. Okay, put down your pencils, pick up your crayon. We are going to go through these first four problems and check our work. Okay, so now you are looking to see if you match what I do. And if you match it, you get to do a star next to the problem. If you do not match what I do, you do it with me and put a stair next to the problem. Okay, so number one, we had five zebras. It says three walk away, so we take three and cross it out. And now we have two. So if you crossed out three and wrote down two, you get the star. Otherwise, you get a stare. Okay. Number two. There are six cats, five run away, six minus five. We should circle a group of five, cross it out, and one remains. If that is what you did, then you get a star. Otherwise, fix it with your crimp and give yourself a stare. Number three, four minus one. We cross one out, we have three left. Four minus one equals three. If that's what you showed, then you get a star. If you needed to do it and fix it with me, then you get a stare. Okay, on number four, it was checking if you understand what happens when you subtract all or zero. So you needed to have all of these correct to get the star. Five minus five equals zero. That is true. So yes. 2 minus 2 equals 2, that is false. It should be 2 minus 2 equals 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4, that is true. When we subtract nothing, we are left with the same number. Okay, so the first one we subtracted everything, so we're left with 0. The second one we subtracted everything, so it should have been 0 again, but it, they did it incorrectly. 4 minus 0, we didn't change it, it stays at 4. So yes, no, yes. If that's what you have, give yourself a star. Otherwise, fix it with your crayon and give yourself a stare. Okay, open up the book and let's look at, or open up the pages like a book and let's look at the inside of the packet. <clears throat> We should be back to our pencil now, okay? <clears throat> um, number five, it says, color the circles to solve, write the number sentence, and how many? Um, for this one, I do want you to use a yellow and a red crayon to do the problem. So you'll have to use, if you were using yellow or crayon to do your stairs and stars, and on number five, you'll end up using a different color for stairs and stars. Okay, because we want a yellow and a red crayon for number five. It says there are nine pencils. Five pencils are red. The rest are yellow. How many pencils are yellow? Okay, so color those circles there to match that story and then write the number sentence that goes along with it. And finally, write how many yellow pencils. There are nine pencils, five pencils are red, the rest are yellow. How many pencils are yellow? Blank, um, so we have a blank, this is a symbol, blank, symbol, blank for your number sentence. <clears throat> Number six, read the problem, use the model to solve. Complete the model and the number sentence. There are six frogs on a log. So think what the whole group is. One frog is 
big? The others are small. How many frogs are small? Six minus one equals blank. Make sure you put your number into the model, into the box, as well as on the blank in the number sentence. Number seven, look at the picture. How many fewer bats are there than balls? Circle or choose the number. How many fewer bats are there than balls? Remember, we are looking for how they buddy up. We are thinking about how they are the same and how they are different because subtraction is about finding differences. So if there are fewer bats, then there are some bats missing. How many fewer bats are there than balls? That's like saying how many bats are missing to be able to have everybody buddy up. If it asked how many more balls, there are then bats, it'd be saying how many extra balls are there? So how many fewer bats? Number eight, we have another bar model. Read the problem and use the bar model to solve. Maria has two rocks. Peter has eight rocks. How many more rocks does Peter have than Maria? It sounds to me like they are comparing the numbers. They are comparing Maria's group of two to Peter's group of eight. When we are comparing numbers, we are looking for how they are different. Number nine, the models show two ways to take apart six. Complete the subtraction sentences. Use these numbers. So they gave you the numbers on these cards to use in the number sentences. So only use the numbers on these cards when you are writing in the number sentences. Okay? You do not need to draw the arrows. Number 10, write the subtraction sentence in the box that shows the difference. Okay, so think, what is 10 minus 5? Find the difference. Is it 3, 4, or 5? Write that subtraction sentence in the box for where it belongs, where it matches. You don't need to circle. Okay, switch to, sorry, there was an announcement. Please switch from your pencil to your crayon, and we are going to go through this, these pages and check our work. So looking at number five, it said we had nine pencils, and so you can see here we have nine circles. It said five of the pencils are red, so I'm going to color Five of them, red, three, four, five. And then it says the rest are yellow. One, two, three, four. So that is what your picture should look like. We should have four yellow pencils. The number sentence that shows that is that we started with a group of nine. We took away the five that were red, and that left us with four that are yellow. Nine minus five equals four, and four yellow pencils. If you have all of these pieces matching mine, then you get to give yourself a star. If you needed to fix any of it with your crayon, then give yourself a stare. It's okay to need to fix things. But also, it's important to mark it with a stare so you remember it's something you're working on.
Number six. Okay, it said there are six frogs on a log. Notice when it says six frogs, we don't have any details. Okay, it's just talking about the whole group. And so down here, we can see that the whole group is six. And so that was used first in the subtraction because when we subtract, we start with the whole or the greater number. Okay, so we have six is the whole. We broke that whole into parts. One part is the big, is what the frog that is big, and there is one. Okay, so that's where the one comes from. The others are small. What would have to go with one to create the whole group of six? Well, if I have six and only one is small, six take away the one, or only one is big, six minus the one big one leaves me with five, which are small. So we should have a five in both of these places. Think of it like a puzzle. I have a piece that's size one and a piece that's size five. So when they come hooking together, they make a size six. Okay, so if you have the five in both of those places, you get the star. Otherwise, give yourself a stare. Number seven, look at the picture. How many fewer bats are there than balls? Choose the number. Okay, so we are comparing. We can say, I have these all buddy up and there are two balls that don't have a buddy, which means I would need two more bats to be able to line everything up. So if I have two more balls, I have two fewer bats. Two more balls or two fewer bats. You can talk about it either way. In this case, they just asked for the fewer bats or how many bats were missing. Okay, so if you marked the two, you get a star. Otherwise, give yourself a stare. Okay, you don't need to write this next part. I just want to show you how this would look in a bar model, okay? This would have been the balls represented by a bar that's size five and the bats represented by a bar that's size three, okay? So when we're looking up here at number eight, we can think of it the other way around. If we have these two bar models, that saying we have a group, a group of eight, You don't need to draw these circles compared with a group of two. Okay, so then I can see that these two are lining up and the difference, the ones that are missing a buddy, are six. So when I find the difference between eight and two or eight minus two, because I'm comparing those numbers, I can see it's six. And six would fit here. A bar that size six would fit there to be able to create um, the rest of this puzzle and make it all line up. Okay. All you need, though, is to say six rocks. So if you wrote six rocks, whatever strategy or tools you use to help you find that six rocks is up to you. But if you wrote down six rocks, you get the star. Otherwise, um, fix it with the crayon and give yourself a stare. Okay, if you did need to fix it with your crayon, then go ahead and draw this picture of eight circles and two circles to compare them. Okay, just to help you remember that that's what it was asking for. Number nine, we're going to see, look at the models and use them to write a subtraction sentence. So we can see in this first stick, you don't need to draw the arrow, I can see I have a whole group of six. So that's where the six came from. Then I take away the first section, okay? I took away five and it left me with one. If you chose to write it, 
6 minus 1 equals 5. That is okay as well because maybe you were thinking that this is the one that came off. Either way is fine. So either of these works. Okay, same thing down here. If you did 6 minus 4 equals 2, or if you did 6 minus 2 equals 4, both of those are okay. Um, so whichever one you chose on both of these, as long as these are the combinations you used, you get the star. Otherwise, fix it with a stare. Okay, looking at number 10, we have 10 minus 5. The difference of 10 and 5 is 5, so 10 minus 5 should be in this box. Then we have 5 minus 1. If I have 5 take me and take away 1, it's going to leave me with 4. So 5 minus 1 belongs in this box. Then I have 7 minus 4. That would leave me with 3. So 7 minus 4 belongs in this box. Okay, we're done with this page. We're going to go on to the final page now. Um, just the back of that. Okay, it looks like this and we are switching back to our pencil okay so with our pencil we are on number 11 it says read the problem draw a model to solve complete the number sentence notice it does say to draw so make sure you do put a picture it says mr bear catches eight fish he takes three fish home he throws the other fish back in the water. How many fish does he throw back in the water? Okay, so we are talking about fish. Three fish, there are eight fish. Three fish go home. The other fish go back in the water. How many go back in the water? Draw a picture to represent this and write it as a number sentence. And then finally, number 12, write the subtraction sentence the picture shows before, be, sh picture shows below, and then explain what is happening. Okay, so then put it into words what you chose to show. Okay, so number 12, write a subtraction sentence that, um, the, that the picture shows, and then explain it on the lines below. Okay, explain how the picture shows that. Pause so that you have enough time to finish that. And then we will move on. Okay, so we are going to switch to our crayon. If you needed more time, make sure you pause. And we're going to look at number 11. Okay, it did need to have a picture. So if you forgot a picture and you do the picture with me, then you will need a, just a stare, even if you have the number sentence correct. Okay, so it says, Mr. Bear catches eight fish. I'm gonna show those eight fish. There we go, eight fish. He takes three of them home. So I'm gonna say of those fish, these three are going home. You could either color them differently or you could circle them as a group and show them um, separate. But you do need to see a group of three somehow in your picture, even if it's not exactly like mine. Okay? The other fish go back in the water. So I can see the three I colored are the ones going home. The ones remaining are going back in the water. So I had a total of eight fish, three to go home, and five to go in the water. Okay, so even if your picture is different than mine, if it shows a whole group of eight and nothing more than eight, and then in that whole group of eight, we see that three of them belong together in some way. Um, so I chose to show that by coloring them in, but you just need to show that three are together in some way and that the other five belong together in some way. So we can see the whole is eight. I see part is three. I see the other part is five. As long as you have all of those pieces, you will get 
the star. Okay, if you missed something here or you didn't show all of those pieces, then fix it with your crayon and give yourself a stare. Okay, and then number 12, we have a total of eight flowers. Three of them are going away. Maybe they got picked and five or are left. Okay, so again, the eight and three and five, it's actually the same number sentence as the story above. Um, but now we're talking about flowers instead of fish. And so if you have that number sentence correct, give yourself a start if you need to fix it, give yourself a stare, and then look at your explanation and make sure you shared that. And I will be looking at those um, when you turn the papers in. Okay, so make sure you explain your thinking on how you um, wrote your subtraction sentence and make sure you get all of those turned in, okay? So with that, we are going to um, be done with our chapter two and we are going to be moving on to chapter three where we are going to revisit addition again, okay? So we are going to be um, working with the same skills we've been, we had before and getting some new ones as well. So I look forward to learning with you and growing with you and continue to practicing our math. Have fun.